nothing victory, and then almost ten years later. Dude, I hate baseball. What kind of weirdo plays baseball? <coughs> Change the channel, bro. I don't know. Hey, golf, Wang. There are protons in an ad sum, along with very close friends, and their names are Neutron. But don't forget about Electron, they are negative and float in the cloud, son. Determine the kind of element that it is, that's the job of protons in the center of the nu nu nucleus. Another name for this is atomic number, but don't get this mixed with this. It's the mass number tricks. Yeah, let's get it. See, they are opposite. One is protons and neutrons. The other is a single subatomic particle unit. See, there's a tricky dude named Isotope. He's a little different because he really ain't, ain't so dope. He has the same number of protons, but his number of neutrons are a little off like Lamparillo in a simple game of beep pong. <laughs> I'm done, man. There is a periodic table of elements and can most all of them are arranged in increasing atomic number of protons, but don't forget the electrons. There are all sorts of types like the alkali, transitions, noble gases, and those halogens. The periodic table of elements, the periodic Table of elements, the periodic table of elements, the periodic table of elements. There are seven eight levels, yeah. Also named as the periods, ooh. But don't get them confused with columns and families. Yeah. <laughs> Chemistry, second period in this class, huh? You know, I, I'm gonna let my dude Robert get on these kids. I ain't, I ain't even feeling it. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. Hit him. <laughs> so, I'm guessing there's some chem questions we need addressing now. Cause the thermochemistry test wrecking the grades, bruh. First thing you must learn is that a joule is a unit of heat. Got it cool. To measure this heat is not a great feat. All you use is a calorimeter. Don't make me repeat. M times C times T is a heat capacity to increase an object by one degree C. Almost done. Pretty sure you have to admit exothermic endothermic. They're pretty opposite. Exo less heat out, endo takes it in. When you take a next quiz, you'll get a 10 out of 10. Is a pressure and volume. Pressure and volume. At a constant temp, the inverse equation, please don't remind me. P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. But don't forget this first law, because tell me what I ate through. Charles' law has direct proportions. What? I ain't joking, as time goes up, volume is too. Constant pressure, but that'll phase you. There's a lot to know. Don't trip. Study hard, you won't slip. There's another law you gotta know. Hold up, we're ready to go. Only one more thing that I gotta get through. Constant volume, this is loose act through. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. You gotta know these three gas laws to get into my chemistry crew. I love weak bases, that's my pH problem. The neutralization, that's my pH problem. I love weak bases, that's my pH problem. The neutralization, that's my pH problem. I love weak bases, that's my pH problem. The neutralization, that's my pH problem. Defining the pH value, that's my that's my problem. Put the limits paper in the solution, that's how we solve it. 
Hold up, bass is on the strip. Never met an acid that says fizzle or can slip. Ammonia is a base, it turns litmus paper blue. Its OH concentration is one times ten to negative two. Ooh, acids get like me. Never met an acid with a pH like me. Lemon juice is age power is one times ten to negative three. But even if it tried, they can never be a G. What? Wow, that was the weirdest stream, bro. I have a feeling I'm gonna ace all bluff test, bro. What? All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there.